harnessing the power of positive dog training is important. Fortunately, there are several ways to do this. The first is to create a fun and relaxing environment for your dog to learn. In addition, you need to understand how to use corrections and rewards. Finally, you need to ensure that your dog complies with your instructions. APDT members may use a variety of methods. The Association of Pet Dog Trainers, APDT, is a professional organization dedicated to the ethical and humane training of dogs. Aside from setting industry standards, APDT also promotes the continued education of dog trainers. Members can use a variety of techniques to help harness the power of positive dog training. Whether it's hiring a professional to assist with the job or using a variety of resources available on the internet, APDT members can stretch their budgets while still achieving their goals. APDT members can benefit from a number of services and discounts from vendors. Members can also access exclusive job listings, attend continuing education, and stay abreast of the latest news in the industry. Moreover, members can receive free access to the APDT Chronicle of the Dog, the association's premier dog training magazine. Although the Association of Pet Dog Trainers doesn't officially endorse any dog training school or trainer, it does offer suggestions for finding a trained professional. One of the most popular features on its website is the trainer search function. This allows people to search for a dog trainer based on several criteria, including geographic location and experience. Membership to APDT is a smart investment in your career. With a wide range of benefits, a membership to APDT is a great way to network with other professionals, increase your bottom line, and grow your knowledge. Moreover, you can stretch your budgets by taking advantage of the many discounts offered by vendor partners. Ensure compliance. There are many ways to harness the power of positive dog training to ensure compliance. This is not just about ignoring your dog's mistakes, though that is part of it. You should also make an effort to avoid using punitive measures for non-compliance. If you have to punish your dog, do so in a way that does not cause it to suffer. Using conditioning techniques can do the trick as well. A lot of people tend to scoff at the concept of conditioning, but it has been proven that dogs respond to a certain stimulus in a different way. For example, a conditioned dog might be more likely to accept injections or even handle a muzzle. The right conditioning technique can change a negative emotional response into a positive one. However, the most effective and efficient way to use conditioning is to train your dog to associate a particular stimulus with a desired reaction. Some examples include head halter training and clicker training. Use secondary reinforcers, such as praise or less treats, to replace the primary ones. Make sure you use the proper timing and you'll be rewarded in spades. When it comes to training your dog, the best advice is to use the method that works for you and your pet. In other words, follow your gut. Your dog will thank you for it. Plus, you'll probably have a much happier animal and better relationship with your partner in the process. Avoid 12 terrible dog training mistakes. If you have a dog, you'll probably want to train him or her. While you're training your pet, make sure you avoid these terrible dog training mistakes. These mistakes can prevent your dog from learning the skills you want them to, and they can also lead to bad habits. Your dog needs to learn the right way to behave. It's important to give your dog treats when he or she is doing something right. This is especially true during the first year of your dog's life. When you are working on a difficult behavior, try to keep the rewards and punishments gradual. Once your dog has learned the skill, you can gradually reduce the amount of treats he or she receives. Dogs have short attention spans. They need to learn by repetition. For example, you can teach your dog to come by repeating the command over and over. When you have a young dog, you need to pay attention to its body language. This helps your dog understand your desires and wants. If your dog is uncomfortable around a particular object or person, you can use treats to encourage him or her to approach it. Your dog will be more likely to listen to you when you are calm and relaxed. When you're angry or frustrated, your dog will become scared and hesitant. 
The best way to train your dog is to use positive reinforcement. You can do this by making a game of tugging for five minutes. After your dog successfully tugs on your arm for a few seconds, give him or her a treat. Repeat the exercise for a few days, then decrease the frequency of the reward. Understand the distinction between corrections and corrections. If you're planning on training your dog, you may have a question about the difference between corrections and positive dog training. The fact is, they are not necessarily mutually exclusive, but it pays to be aware of the differences. Positive reinforcement is a popular training method used by many people. This method deprives the dog of something they want, like food or playtime, in return for displaying a desired behavior. Correcting your dog is an important part of raising a well-behaved canine. Using the right tools to do the job, you can refocus your dog's attention and prevent future flare-ups. There are many different types of corrections, including verbal reprimands and shock collars. The most important thing to remember is that all of these methods are designed to help your pet behave better. Whether you choose to use a leash pop, a head halter, or an electric shock collar, the goal is the same, to redirect your pet's attention to the things you want it to do. One thing you must keep in mind is the fact that negative reinforcement is not as effective if it is taken long after the initial inappropriate behavior. As such, you should only consider this method when your dog is being extremely disruptive. Similarly, you should never hit or abuse your pet. In any case, the best way to train your canine is to stick to the basics and be consistent with the methods you use. If you don't take your dog's needs into consideration, you're putting them at risk for resentment and aggression. Discover motivators for your dog. When you are trying to train your dog, you will need to use a variety of motivators. Your dog needs to be motivated to come to you and to follow your commands. You can learn what motivates your dog by finding out what he likes. Food is a great motivator for most dogs. They are instinctively drawn to food, and it holds a special place in their heart. Play is also a powerful motivator. Getting your dog to play can strengthen the bond between you and your pet. Tossing a ball can be a great way to get your dog to chase the ball. Other motivators include toys. These can be an excellent way to stimulate your dog and give him the physical activity he craves. However, toys should not be offered to your dog if he is not interested. One of the most popular dog training methods is reward-based training. The idea behind this is that by rewarding your dog for good behavior, you can establish a positive association between the action and a reward. Another type of motivator is praise. Praise can be in the form of a verbal greeting or a smile, or it can be a physical gesture, such as giving your dog a hug. Make sure that you are consistent with praising your dog. This is important because negative reinforcement can reinforce bad behavior.